Anyway, so earlier we brought you to Stevie Hendrix, who was, you know, checking out some houses here in Arboretum. Let's go back to him real quick to find out a different house with Mona Kreider. Stevie? Well, thanks, Matt. That's right. I'm actually standing here with Mona Kreider and Terry Beth. They're the two artists and masterminds behind this house you see, this house you see behind me, which is actually themed after Picasso. Is that right? Absolutely. As you can see, here is an actual drawing that Picasso did of a villa by the Mediterranean. And so we have made it three-dimensional versus the two-dimensional. So I can tell straight off the bat that from looking at this house and looking at that picture that you've got all the same color theme going and I noticed the roof. Now could you tell me a little bit about the roof specifically that's unique about that? The roof actually looks like it as in any painting as you'll see behind us it looks like it's going away but in reality the way the architect designed it it's actually coming at you. So it gives a real three-dimensional quality when you walk around it. It's sort of that um, optical illusion. Yeah, when you, when you first told me that, I was like, okay. And then I looked at it and I was like, whoa, that really does look like it's coming at you. So it's a little bit of fun like Picasso likes to do with his paintings and with his drawings. Mm -hmm. He likes to mix it up and see things a little differently than the average or the standard. So what were your first thoughts, you know, when the Arboretum calls you up and they ask you to do this project, what were you guys thinking? I mean, what was your thought when they called you up? Were you really excited? I was thrilled to be involved on the Artist Small Houses because it is such a big project and also because of the actual uh, public, both young and old, to be able to teach some about these famous artists, the work of art. But it also gave me an opportunity to show my out-of-the-box thinking and the eye for detail. And it was such a privilege to be able to partner with Hobeck Builders on this whole project and with professionals who share the same vision, which was awesome. So share the same vision and quality. Now, Terry Beth, I know that you were a teacher, actually, at one point. So I'm sure this is exciting for you to get to kind of display this and also teach people at the same time. It is fun. Picasso was famous, of course, for his cubism style of painting. And it was so much fun to just dig into the real nitty gritty of how did he use that cubism to show things like uh, plants, bricks, the, um, the awning that you see up there at the top of the house. So it was a lot of fun and uh, uh, fun with color and great to, to work together. And I just think it's such a great thing for people to bring their kids and come out and just see some great examples of famous artist works. Thanks, Stevie.